Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And as well, you're going to see some Udemy links down there coming up soon. And check out the Discord as well. There you go. Lots of things to check out as always. It's nice, right? Uh, but here we are. Okay. Next video. What are we going to do now? Well, I was thinking we'll divide some stuff up. And keep working on the item stuff so we can actually get some attacks going. And we need a few base things before we can start attacking. And one of those those things uh, is range. So when you're within a range of an enemy, you'll be able to attack. We're going to check that in various ways. ways uh, whatever, we'll see how we'll do that. But one thing is I don't want to define range in each and every one of these base classes. I want another base class that is very much more base <laughs> basically uh, which keeps track of those weapon specific things and i know it might be a lot of inheritance and stuff not a lot of people like inheritance that much but specifically right here we're gonna have to do some extra inheritance uh, but i guess that's good for training i mean this is a tutorial anyway so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna say weapon weapons and this is going to contain all my weapon related stuff. Okay, as well as well as the base class, the new base class weapon. So this is going to be just a generic weapon, base class is item, virtual destructor, access public. Let's go. So this will create a weapon base class for me. That's great. That's all I want. Okay. And what we're going to do here in the constructor, basically, we're just going to say items base constructor. I'm going to open up item here so I know what I'm doing. Uh, basically, you create an item using a value. So I'm going to go ahead and put in value here. Just as usual. Value, and I'm going to send in value here to item. Good, then you don't really have to do anything else here except for the clone function. So I'm just going to copy this clone function right here. And I'm going to put it right below here. As well as create a protected thingy here. Okay. Now what happens now is, uh, unless I define this in the weapon. This is a good C++ tutorial thing. Unless I define this here in this class. Uh... This class is also going to become abstract by default. So unless I define this, it'll be abstract. So I'm not going to define it. I'm going to keep it abstract because that's what I want. I'm not going to do anything special in here. I'm just going to check item for anything else that we might need. Item itself, let's see what it does. It it kind of it sets the item type to default. That's good. Um, and then what happens is these other classes set them to whatever we need so we don't need to set it really here actually um, this is just to signify that it is kind of still not set and if you have this popping out that means there's some error somewhere you're not supposed to have this type and it initializes some variables that's great nothing that we have right now uh, probably going to create a private section here as well there and I'm gonna do a void init variables like that it's always good to have one we might not really need it right now but i'm just going to define it and keep it there as long as you know yeah we'll just keep it there and then we're going to go ahead and put weapon into weapons here from the source files there we go and you guessed it i'm going to create another little filter here and i'm going to call it armors and then we're going to have trinkets all kind of so everything is going to be Pretty much inheritance and stuff like that but we're not going to add anything to that right now what we need to do is we need to tweak some stuff now so all we need to tweak is the ranged and melee weapon we don't need to touch sword because that's already coming from it's already uh, inheriting from these other base classes so we're just going to change these instead of public item uh we're going to go ahead and do class also before we do anything let's change this to weapon and that includes item in itself uh, we don't need this anymore once that is done public weapon okay good weapon weapon blah 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 
good. Now you need to open the CPP file. And here we just need to set a weapon. There we go. And this sets the type just like we wanted. That is great. Now we can close melee weapon down. Let's go into range weapon.h. Do the same thing. Weapon. Remove this. Set this to weapon. Um, blah, blah, blah. Ranged weapon. Good, good. Go into the CPP file. Set this to weapon. And we can start doing stuff. Good. Great. Uh, what we didn't do in weapon, though, was for all my beautiful Linux and Coblox using friends who haven't set the new standard, CPP standard. We're going to do a if and def here. Weapon H define weapon h if you want to use pragma once you have that ability go ahead and do it uh, you don't have to do this the, this is just to keep the files kind of general general generic uh, so it's easier for you guys you don't always have to switch all this stuff if you don't want to use pragma once and all this stuff uh, so once that's done we can just close item we don't need to work with that right now anymore it's just very basic base class uh, weapon is going to contain a few things. So weapon is going to contain very specific stuff like int uh, or probably unsigned unsigned range. So we can have a good range. Range shouldn't be minus or less than one. So we're going to do that. Uh, a lot of other things that weapons have that we don't have to keep in all of these things is like damage and stuff. So let's see where we define damage. We didn't define that there. I guess we did that here. Uh, so these things like melee weapon has, we might want to put those up a step in here. Okay, just like that. So all weapons will have this stuff anyway. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, so we remove that from melee weapon. We need to create a protected part here. Protected. Just for future reference. So let's keep working here. Now, since we put everything in weapon.h, we want to initialize stuff in weapon.cpp. So how do we do it in C wep uh, melee weapon.cpp? Uh, well, we did not really initialize those, did we? Uh, let's go hit here. Weapon sprout. Okay, this is initializing everything. That's all good. Uh, loading that from. Okay, that's good. That's good. Weapon, you sort this. This is doing all that stuff. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, whoops. So, we're going to need a void render function, which is going to be pretty much the exact copy of sword. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open sword. And copy these two. And weapon is going to have exactly these two. Update and render. Good. And it needs a 0, 0 like this. Because all weapons should be rendered. Very good. Once that's done, we don't need to really define them here. Uh, update and render. Good. And that should be done in the class. And then we go ahead into sword again. Here, sword.cpp. And we'll see what we're initializing. Do we have to initialize anything specific here? Blah, blah, blah. That's being set. That's great. Okay. All right. So what I'm probably going to want to do is I'm going to want a texture into weapon. So this weapon texture file needs to be set through here. So let's set that in here. Uh let's do a std string texture file like that and we're going to make sure we load this into this directly into the weapon instead and that will help us a little bit now weapon goes from item that's great in it variables good now we're going to have to go into ranged weapon put that in here ranged weapon cpp in there send texture file in here now sorry if i'm going too fast but we're gonna keep working on this in the next one let's just go ahead and set this up so we can do it easily now melee weapon same thing and remember to send it in here as well texture f 
file. Good. So at least we'll do some stuff through through here. So we don't have to go ahead and, and go crazy with everything else. Uh, good. Now we're in sword. Open up bow and sword. So you should have bow H, bow CPP, sword H, sword CPP. Just do the same thing here. Just add texture file everywhere you can think of. Texture file. There are only three places per item here. No, not there. Right there. Texture your file and then in the constructor here as well okay whew, there you go all right all right all right all right now we can just go ahead and close all the bow and sword stuff and just keep range the melee weapon open because we're key we're gonna send that in there send that in there okay we need to go into weapon.cpp here's where we need to go and we have our texture file good good I'm just gonna open sword cpp because here we already defined some stuff. I'm gonna copy this, okay? Copy this stuff here. The setting of the origin is kind of a custom thing, so I'm gonna leave that here. We don't have to set the origin if we don't want to. Um, good, all the movement of the sprite is fine. The render we need to copy over. So let's first of all, let's do this right there. So we're going to load something from a file, the texture, file, good, uh, texture file, could not load weapon texture, and I'm going to actually print this out, if we can't load it, I'm going to print it out, uh, there we go, so we know which texture kind of messed up, if it did load, we'll put it in, very good, very good, um, nice okay i'll actually i'll leave the render and the update custom so we'll have to go ahead and and do those uh pretty much let's see weapon here we go let's go copy these put them in ranged weapon.h as well and in melee weapon.h oh they're already there okay good don't forget to put it in here and that's nice okay Good job, guys and girls. That's about it for this video. I'm going to have to keep working on this in the next one. Sorry if I went too fast. But, you know, I'll recap it in the next video. Hopefully, you'll you'll understand. Otherwise, just go back, see what I'm doing, follow through step by step. Basically, I just put in some stuff in the constructors and, and uh, changed a few places, a few, few statements to different places. So, try that out. Hopefully, you'll succeed. Otherwise, check the code on GitHub, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.